President Biden is set to meet with G7 leaders later today amid fears of a wider war in the Middle East. NBC's Ali Rafa is at the White House with more. Ali, good morning. Well, good morning. President Biden is working to coordinate what he calls a united diplomatic response to Iran's unprecedented attack on Israel, while also stressing the need for de-escalation. The president also staying alert, saying in a statement late Saturday night that while we have not seen attacks on our forces or facilities today, we'll remain vigilant to all threats and will not hesitate to take all necessary action to protect our people. President Biden adding that he ordered U.S. forces in the Middle East to help intercept dozens of missiles launched towards Israel. The president met with his national security team in the Situation Room for roughly two hours Saturday before a phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in which a senior administration official tells NBC News the president reaffirmed his commitment to Israel's security while making clear the U.S. will not participate in its response to Iran. Israeli officials now renewing vows to retaliate without elaborating on exactly how. Two senior U.S. officials telling NBC News some top officials are now concerned Israel could react quickly without thinking through the potential fallout from its actions. A senior administration official says the White House believes the Israelis are not looking for a direct war with Iran, but U.S. officials can't be certain. As sources familiar say, President Biden is privately expressing concern that Netanyahu is trying to drag the U.S. deeper into this conflict. Willie. Ali Rafa at the White House this morning. Ali, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.